How's it going guys? Today we have a battle for the history books against Envious Goon from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. This battle is so close, you're absolutely going to love it. With all that being said, feel free to close combat that subscribe button and without further ado, let's jump into the game. Alright, Envy's got a pretty cool looking team with the Chandelure and the Lycanroc. The Cleavor's really cool to see as well. Galvantula and Gudra are awesome. And Corviknight, you know what? I love Corviknight. So Corviknight is just... I, I don't even think I'm going to win this because I'm going to refuse to KO the Corviknight. Um, but look at this. They, they probably lead off with Lycanroc. So I might just lead off with my Landorus. Uh, Landorus is a pretty good lead actually in general because they might lead off with Cleavor as well. Um, so I think I will lead Landorus, get the Intimidate off on something. And then just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Envy. So they're going to lead off with Gudra, which is nice, as I led off with my Landorus Ethereum. So we are max speed, so we definitely outspeed this thing. No problem. We get the Intimidate off, just in case it's physical. Um, and then we go for a U-turn 100% of the time here. We just get out of here. We get a bit of chip damage off, and we're good to go. So we go for a U-turn. We'll find out if they're gooey or not as well. Um, they're not gooey, so they might be Sap Sipper, which is good to know. Um, not that we go for a grass type move against this thing. And I'm going to go into... Is this Gardevoir the best option or is Registeel? I think Gardevoir is the best option. So we'll go with Gardevoir. They might go for an Ice Beam. They might go for a Sludge Bomb and predicting the uh, Gardevoir. But if they do, they do. We can definitely take it still. Um, so we're going to trace that Sap Sipper, which is really good to know. And they go for a Knock Off. Oh, that's going to sting a little bit as well. Knocking off our Assault Vest. So that's unfortunate, but it's fine. Uh, Gardevoir can still handle this thing. No problem with a Moonblast. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So they withdraw Gudra. What are they going to go into? Corviknight, I would guess, or Chandelure. Um, they go Corviknight, which is fine. That could, could, could mirror armor our um, Moomalas special attack drop, potentially. No, it's pressure. That's good to know. So we go for a Moomalas, which is fine. There's a nice bit of chip damage to them. Now, I want to stay in and go for a Thunderbolt, but based on Moomalas damage, I'd say they've got some special bulk, maybe. No, they would take it a lot better if they had special bulk, actually, because we're not boosted. Um, so we could probably do a lot of damage with Thunderbolt right now. But I have got switch-ins. I've got the Magmortar after all. So I may as well go Magmortar here. So that's what I'm going to do. Go Magmortar. Like so. Boom, stick. And if we assume they're going to predict the switch. So they go for a U-turn, actually. Ah, that's fair enough. We might get a Flame Body. We do get the Flame Body Burn, which is nice. That's big. That's big. It's going to nullify those leftovers for the Corviknight. So Corviknight goes back after being burned. And we're probably going to see a Lycanroc switch here or a Cleavor. Cleavor does come in, which is fine. We can handle Cleavor, no problem. So what we can do here is we can hard switch into Landorus, get the Intimidate off. I think that's the best way to go about it. They are getting the Stealth Rocks up here, but it's fine. So we withdraw our Magmortar. And we're going to go into Great Stripe, the Landorus Therian. Which is cool. Get the Intimidate off, which is awesome. And then they go for a Stone Axe, which is going to do a decent bit of damage, to be fair. And get the Stealth Rocks up, which is really unfortunate. Just going to go straight for the Stone Edge here. I don't see any reason not to, because we take a hit. And we take them right down to the Sash as well, which is awesome. Um, they are Focus Sash. They didn't just live on 1 HP. That's good. Um, and they go for a U-turn, which can do no damage. Now, they may want to go Corviknight here. If they go Shandy, we know they're Scarfed. If they go um, Gudra, then we know they're Insane. Shandy comes in. That's going to be Scarf Shandy. Or they're bluffing it, one of the two. Um, they could be bluffing the Scarf, to be fair. So I'm leaning towards a switch here. If we assume they might predict the switch into Magmortar and go for a Shadow Ball, we should go into Cyclozar. Cyclozar's a great switch here. So we'll withdraw Landorus, which is fantastic. And we're going to go into Motorola the Cyclozar, which is a great switch in my opinion. Overheat, that's going to sting quite a bit, if it's Specs especially. It's not Specs though, it's probably Scarfed. Probably Scarfed. So we get a free knockoff off on whatever we want. So they go for another Overheat, proving they are Scarfed as well. We do live though, which is great. We do live. And then we go for a knockoff, which is going to do a lot of damage to the Chandelure, which is fantastic, knocking off their Choice Scarf. So now, we outspeed. They're probably going to want to switch out here. So we could... I'm going to go for a Draco. So they withdraw Shandy. I could have gone for a Rapid Spin, really, thinking about it. But if they have Rocky Helmet on um, anything, then that would be bad. So Cleavor comes in, which is fine. We're going to drop a Draco real quick. That takes out the Cleavor, no problem. We do get a Special Attack drop, which means we are susceptible to other things right now. But their Stealth Rocker is gone. So if we manage to Rapid Spin away these rocks, we're going to be golden. Fenrir, the Spacey comes in. That's going to be the Lycanroc there, right? Yeah, Lycanroc comes in. 
Now this thing I guess to sell a rock, so I'm gonna switch out. Um, I'm gonna go into Lando. I think Lando's a good switch. Now unfortunately, Stealth Rocks are still up. So we're gonna get a bit of chip damage. So a Cellar Rock might two shot us. Might do because of the tough claws. So we get the Stealth Rock chip, we get the Intimidate off. Let's see if a Cellar Rock does enough to KO us. Sucker Punch. Ooh, that's even better for us. That's even better for us. So now all we have to do is go for a Earthquake. They're gonna Terror though. Oh, are they Terror Rocking so they get the maximum power on the Cellar Rock? Or Terror Dark? Terror Fighting. Interesting. So Fighting is an interesting Terror. It means Earthquake won't KO. Earthquake won't KO here. They go for a Oh, it won't. Why? It might get. It might KO since they're close combating. But it unfortunately does KO us. So that's unfortunate. But they lower the defenses, which is great. So now we're in a very unique position because we can go Gardevoir um, and Moonblast this thing. Slash like it. Kit. Um, or we can go Magmortar and we can Mac Punch it with Terra Fighting. Um, I'm leaning towards the Vaporeon as well for the Acid Armor. I think Gardevoir is a safe one, so I'm going to go Gardevoir. Pretty sure Gardevoir can live a close combat because it's four times resisted. And I'm pretty sure we can live in a Cellar Rock, no problem. So we're going to trace the Tough Claws, which is fine. That doesn't do anything for us. And then we'll go straight for a Moonblast. I don't see any reason not to. They withdraw the Lycan Rock, not wanting to get smacked in the face with a Moonblast, which is fair enough. And they're going to go into Corviknight, which is going to be able to take this Moonblast like an absolute champ. So there's the Corviknight coming in. Exert some pressure, of course. We go for another Moonblast, and now I'm tempted to go for a Thunderbolt. Now I'm tempted to go for a Thunderbolt, because they're lower on HP. I need to get rid of these rocks, that's for sure. I really need to get rid of these rocks. So what I might do here is... If we assume they're going to go for a U-turn, we should go for a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt comes through. That should do a lot of damage to the Corviknight. Actually takes it out, which is fantastic. No crit required. And the Corviknight is down, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, Corviknight was one of the Pokemon we could have rapid spinned on. Um, which is unfortunate, but it's whatever. Galvantula comes in, though. Galvantula's fine. And it's probably going to go for a Sticky Webs or something. So let's go for a Mystical Fire. They go for the Sticky Webs, which is fine. We go for Mystical Fire, which is going to lower their special attack as well. It's guaranteed. Um, so there's the Mystical Fire come through. Boom. Galvantula gets taken down too. It's also a Sash. Interesting. And special attack is going to drop, which is fantastic. So that means we, we definitely live the next hit, no problem. So let's go for a Mystical Fire again. They go for a Thunder. Oh, the Compound Eyes, but it still misses anyway. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Whenever I use Compound Eyes, it always hits for some reason. I get really lucky with it, but Envy, unfortunately, is not getting lucky with this one. So that's unfortunate. So Galvantula goes down. Gardevoir putting in the work right now. Gudra comes in. That's a good one. Gudra comes in. That's a good one. I say we just go for a Moonblast here. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast now. We go for a Moonblast. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh, it's nearly going to KO it, which is fantastic. They go for a Sludge Bomb. We should live that, though, right? We don't. We don't live. So Gardevoir goes down, which is unfortunate. They've got a Lycan Rock, a Gudra, and a Chandelure left. They are leftovers, of course, so they're going to get some health back. But we've weakened the Gudra considerably. So I'm, I'm leaning towards... It might be time for Vaporeon to come in. It might just be time for Vaporeon to come in. Let's, let's bring the Vaporeon in. So we'll bring the Vaporeon in right now. Get some stones dug into us. And the sticky webs, of course. It doesn't really matter because we, 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 we get outsped by everything. So let's go for a Calm Mind here. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our leftovers, which is fine. We go for a Calm Mind. After one Calm Mind, we should be doing enough damage to KO things. So let's see how this plays out. So we get the special attack, special defense drop, uh, boost. Then the next turn, we go for an Acid Armor, predicting the Lycan Rock to maybe come in. So let's go for an Acid Armor right now. Sludge Bomb comes through. It's trying to get the poison. That's fair enough. They do get the poison, which is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. As we now get an Acid Armor off. Now, the Acid Armor is probably pretty pointless if we're poisoned now. Um, that's for sure. We don't have Wish. We don't have Refresh. I don't think Refresh is in the game anyway. So Vaporing can come in and do some stuff right now, but that's about it. It's not going to sweep the rest of the team or anything like that. So let's go for a Ice Beam real quick. They go for a Draco. That's going to take us out, right? No, it doesn't take us out. That's great. 
Lowers the special attack. We then go for an Ice Beam, which should KO from here. It does, so Gudra goes down. I should have just KO'd straight away instead of Acid Armory. But, I mean, at least we get a free switch in now on what we know is going to be a Lycan Rock or a Chandelure. So with Vaporeon taking out Gudra, we're in a much better position. I'm leaning towards Magmortar. I will be honest. But I'm also leaning towards Registeel. I think I'm going to go Registeel. In comes Lycan Rock. Now, I'm pretty confident we can take a close combat from the Lycan Rock with um, Registeel. Pretty confident we can take one. But I'm not 100% confident. So I might Terra Dragon. I think I Terra Dragon Heavy Slam. They withdraw. Interesting. So they're going to withdraw. Predicting uh, what? Heavy Slam? They're going to Chandelure the Sociable. Chandelure can no longer hit us with its fire type moves super effectively because of our Terra Dragon. So that's what we're going to do now. We are specially defensive, so we can definitely take a Shadow Ball as well. But I think we win with Registeel now. I think we win with Registeel, but I'm not 100% confident. Let's have a look. So we go for a Heavy Slam on the Switch. Doesn't get the KO. They aren't Flame Body, which is good. We go for a Earthquake here. Ah, that's unfortunate. So they're going to trick us. Oh, no, we don't We don't have a... Oh, Red Card. Oh, they st uh, because they don't have a Choice Scarf, so they just stole our item, which is a Red Card. But because they fainted, the Red Card isn't going to activate. So Reggie still wins the game still. I personally would have gone for the Shadow Ball there, just to get a little bit of damage off. But um, it's fine. Let's go for a Heavy Slam. Psychic Fangs. That's going to do a decent bit of chip. But can it flinch us? No, it can't. Heavy Slam comes through. We nearly take out that Fenrir with Heavy Slam, which is fantastic. Let's go for another Heavy Slam. Close Combat comes through. And that's going to take us out, unfortunately. So the defense drops there, though. Which means now we can go into Magmortar and Mark Punch this thing. So Metallica goes down. Boom. And then we go Magmortar and we just Mark Punch this thing. They're probably thinking, but I have priority, so this is going to work out well for us, but it's not. So we'll go into Magmortar. We do get Stealth Rocks, and I think I think Acela Rock does KO here. Um, because Mark, But we have to go for Mark Punch just in case they don't go for Acela Rock. So let's go for a Mark Punch. And um, they don't expect it. They don't expect the Mark Punch. That's for sure. As down goes the Lycan Rock. And we win the game. That's a GG Envious Goon. That was a really fun one. I enjoyed that one. Absolutely fantastic game. That was brilliant. What an intense match. Envious did well to grab that W in this one. Feel free to use the team using the rental on screen right now. And with that being said, I'll catch you in a bit.